back wheel, how you going? Just going for a ride, uh, spin. I just thought I'd let you all know, I've got a new helmet. Arrow Defiant, matte black, pretty sexy. So I'll be doing a little review on it. Um, first impressions of the helmet, they're good. only about the fifth time I've worn it, but it's starting to wear in nicely. Uh, I've been comparing it to my last helmet, Narrow Vector. Wee, lip switching. Which was a fantastic helmet. Uh, good all-round helmet. Can't, nothing to complain about it on. Nothing major. Like all arrows, it can be a bit of a pain to change the visor due to this design, but the sacrifice is the visor mechanism is unparalleled and it's smooth as a clear. Oh! Oh! Yet, yeah. uh, another big thing I noticed that's fantastic is that awesome vision. The visor is noticeably wider and more open. Oh, look at that slip! So it allows me to see through the corners much more. So going through these, these two hands here, turning direction, I feel like I'm looking through the corners a lot more than I was with my other helmet. It sounds weird, but I'm pretty sure my corner speed is faster. First thing I noticed, corners were one hand. Corners where I um, were doing a comfortable 75, I was doing a comfortable 85. So I don't know whether it's it's just a little bit quieter uh, and I'm looking through the corners a bit more. But maybe that's it. So I'll head up to the lookout. One of the lookouts up here will do a bit of an overview of the helmet. Backside of Mount Glorious now, just went through the boring part. You'd be careful back there as well because it's pretty treacherous. It's always fucking quiet. Covered in leaves and debris and shit all over the road. It clears up and gives a little bit further down. So I'm just gonna head to one of the lookouts. And I'll take the helmet off. I'll show you some of the features of it. It is just up here. Some features of the helmet, some of the things I like about it, some things I don't. Like. Oh, a bit of rear wheel lock up. Off the road here. Ivanhoe, look out. I 
hadn't stopped at this one before. So, um, seems nice, very uh, scenic. We'll go have a look. Why have no outlook? Very nice. Let's see what you got. Oh, that's what I got. I don't think the uh, Tawana would like going down these stairs and stuff. Plus, it's the Tawana, the road warrior. Fuck me, I'm not going down there. This is an adventure. Okay, it's not too far. Nearly there. Got a massive wedgie from my uh, leathers. Going down. Still going down. Well, that's actually pretty fucking nice. See the dam and everything out there? It is nice. I'll give him that. Okay, well here's the helmet, the new Arrow Defiant. Uh, specially designed for naked bikes. Uh, in particular, bottles exactly like mine. You know, upright bars. Um, street fighter style, I suppose. This is a Street Fighter helmet. Um, let's see what it's shape. It looks pretty tough. You know, it's a it's a good looking helmet. No two ways about it. Uh, I've gone with the frost black. Just uh, my wife actually chose it to match the bike, and it does. It matches it really well. Um, you know, black on black, and I like it over the gloss black because they show up fingerprints quite um, quite significantly. Whereas this, they wipe off really easy and. There's no real issues. I'll show you the back of it. Come around. It's got a spool in the front, ignoring my uh, GoPro mount there, that uh, contours the wind away. And it runs down the side here, and it's supposed to take pressure off your neck and shoulders. And I have to say, it, it does a good job. When you're moving your head from side to side, uh, there's minimal wind resistance, and like you don't get a sore neck, it doesn't pull you like some helmets do. You can move your head really freely about. It feels light on your head too. We'll jump down here, you know my face. So it's got the same visor mechanism as most arrows. Uh, this one's the next step up from the Vector model. Um, and in a naked bike kind of style, it's got a wider opening. I was saying that when I was riding up. And it does actually make a difference. I feel I can see more, there's more vision, and you can really look through corners. Um, one of the things I really like about the helmet is it has a lot of airflow. Adjusted by these ones here, you've got half, half open or full open, and they feel really nice in the hands. Like the build quality is fantastic on the helmet all around. Uh, on the back, we've got a similar style here. And this is different spoiler to the uh, racier models. Uh, on the front, we've got a um, this, these ones here. Sorry, put the, these ones here, half open or full. That actually, I'll open it up. Get into it, mate. This actually puts it one, runs down into your temples, then the sides here. It really, it actually works. It cools down quite well. And that's one of the major highlights of this helmet is the wind flow. That may contribute to it uh, being a naked bike as well. But um, the wind flow is really good. So what else can I say? This here, that directs it onto the visor to stop it fogging up. There's a bug in there. Oh. That puts it on the visor and also your face, cool down your face. Inside, removable liners. Uh, cheek pads come out quite easily. This bit here slides out, and then I find it's easy. You grab the inside here, and you just pull that out. Easy as that, and that just comes off. Uh, one thing that has annoyed me, and I've had to get used to, coming from old helmet, is this bit here. It touches your ear, it tickles a little bit. I'm getting used to it, and I'm sure if I really want to, um, you can change these, or I could just even. Just glue it down, or see you can glue it down like that. I could do that, 
So I might do that if it keeps annoying me. Let's put that to the side. This pulls out really easily, just got, probably see there's got like buttons. Really easy to use, clip on, clip out, so you just want to wash it or you want to get a different size or anything like that. But yeah, that's the helmet, I really like it. Um, one thing I did have to get used to was initially, it was quite um, in the front here, was putting a little bit of pressure on my forehead. I've gotten used to it. And I think it's just actually just wearing in the helmet itself. Um, I will say there are quieter helmets out there. Mainly, it's hard to say because I come from a sports bike where you tuck behind the fairing and race crouch, you know, you're down here, you're in the race crouch. So this is just a noisier bike in general, but look, I, I would think there are quieter helmets out there, but that's mainly due to the style as well, like the spoiler. Uh, one big improvement over my vector is the chin. It's not as close to to your chin. So I found if I jutted out my chin or I was riding at speed on the vector, it'd push forward here and touch my chin. That's pretty annoying. Uh, this one doesn't seem to do it. So yeah, I can't really think of anything else. Uh, it's light. It seems good. The airflow is good. Once you get used to the fit, it's great. And plus the build quality is fantastic. The only thing is our eyes can be a bit fiddly to change the visors. And um, on my last helmet, I broke the pod trying to change it. Because what you do is, sorry, I've only got one hand here. So you flick it up, you pull these up and you pull that out and it slips out and then you put it back in. So once you get the hang of it, it's not too bad, but it's certainly not as good as a showy or the bell is, I found the bell to be fantastic. Like they take no time at all to change. So yeah, this is the Arrow and Defiant. I'm really happy with it so far. Great wedding anniversary gift from my wife, by the way. Good work. Let me know what you think. If you got one, you might fucking hate it. I don't know. You know, I've tried on other helmets and I've just instantly hated them. This one, I didn't love it straight away. I'd already got it though, so uh, I was committed. But it's worn in nicely and I'm happy with it. Anyway, this is basically my first review, so let me know how it is, what you think. Um, I'm going to do a proper review on the Tawano. I've done, I did like a quick overview for my first video. Um, I fucking love this bike, it is amazing. Um, yeah, make sure you subscribe to YouTube. I've also got a uh, Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. Um, honestly, I probably use the Facebook the most. Alright, anyways, I'm going to go down this mountain and have a play. So, peace out everyone, I'm out.